Are you a student in the school of money? Are you a student in the school of money? Are you a student in the school of money? Are you a student in the school of money? Yes, no, this is not a music show. This is the school of money. I'm Olumide Emmanuel. You're welcome to another wonderful episode of this Wealth Creation Tonic. Do you have a copy of the book? Are you a student in the school of money? If you are not a student in the school of money, you need to enroll very fast. And if you are a student, enroll your brother, your sister, your father, your mother, your colleagues at work, your friends, enroll everyone you can and make sure they are all part of the school of money. This broadcast is aimed at teaching you wealth creation principles, revealing to you the pathway that leads to wealth and connecting you with money-making opportunity. Every time you tune into this broadcast, we're going to help you know how to make, manage and multiply your money. And it's also going to serve as a blueprint for entrepreneurs. We're raising a new breed without greed, a new breed of entrepreneurs. And this book, about 700 pages, hardcover with CD and DVD, is the manual for that new breed without greed. When you get a copy of this book, you're going to get all the information you need to become knowledgeable about wealth creation. I'm Olumide Emmanuel, and I'm going to be starting a series today on the pathway to wealth. The pathway to wealth. So I want you to do something for me now. Get your pen, get your paper, call your friends, call everyone to come around the TV set. Tell your family, tell everyone. The Common Sense Guru is now on air and is about to begin to unveil the pathway to wealth. Listing and listing wealth. A lot of people want to become wealthy. A lot of people want to create wealth. But the missing link is they don't know how. They know what they want. But they just don't know how to get it. How to create wealth is what we'll be looking at on this pathway to wealth. I will show you step by step in the next one, two or three episodes, depending on how time will permit us, on how you can create wealth, how you can locate that pathway that leads to wealth, and how you can take the journey to the world, the place. So don't forget, get your pen, get your paper, get everyone around the TV set, send a text message to all your friends, go on your BB right now, and blast it out that everyone should tune in because this series that we're starting today is going to be powerful pathway to wealth i'm back after this break don't go anywhere stay tuned millions of people today live at the mercy of house owners who at one point made a decision to acquire a property or plots of land to build you can secure your future and make that decision today with Common Sense Estates Limited. You can choose to have a permanent address or invest in any of our strategically positioned estates all around the nation. Eagle Estate, Phase 1, 2 and 3, Agbara, Dream City Estate, Ikorodu, Dove Estate, Ofada, Genesis Estate, Abuja, Seller Estate, Port Harcourt. Why wait? Patronize us and procure your land or fully completed houses of different sizes in any of the estates at affordable and flexible payment plans. For more details, call 0805-267-3673, 0806-575-5996 or visit our website www.commonsensegroup.com or our corporate office 28B at Janaku Street, Awuse Estate, Salvation Bostop, Okwebi Ikeja, Lagos. Remember... Procrastination is a killer of actualization. Act now. Yes, you're welcome back. It's still the school of money and I'm Olumide Emmanuel. Listing and listing well. I want to start sharing with you today on what I've entitled the pathway to wealth. The pathway to wealth. I hope you have your pen and your paper ready. Let's lay some ground principles on ground. Number one. The first thing you need to understand is that wealth is created wealth is created and if wealth is going to be created it simply means that there are ingredients for the creation of wealth i share with you sometime on this broadcast on the vehicles of wealth creation revealing to you vehicles you can use to move from where you are to where you need to be so wealth is created nobody succeeds by accident nobody just becomes successful or becomes wealthy just like that no if it's going to be it's up to you because there is no accidental success so wealth is created and in order for you to create wealth, you need to know the ingredients for wealth creation and you also need to know that there is a process to wealth creation. That's the first ground rule, ground principle you need to note. The next thing you need to note is if you're going to become wealthy and you're going to understand how to walk the pathway to wealth, number one, you must realize that there is a wealthy place. 
you must realize that there is a place on earth where you can arrive at where money will not be your problem. Because see, the way a lot of people see money is affected by their mindset. Money is nothing but just a tool for fulfilling purpose. When you are looking for money for money's sake, or you are looking for money for status sake, or you are looking for money so that you can show them, then life will show you. But when you're looking for money and you're making money for the purpose of being empowered enough to make a difference in your generation and to create value, then money will always find a way of gravitating towards you. So the thing you need to note is there is a wealthy place. There are people on earth today that live in a wealthy place. They don't have money problem. The problem they have is how to spend the money or how to manage the money or how to protect the money. But when it comes to making money, they've got that covered. So number one, there is a wealthy place. There is a place where you can arrive at with integrity, with hard work, with smart work, and money is not going to be your problem. That's number one. Number two, there is a pathway that leads to that wealthy place. There is a wealthy place, and there is a path that leads to that wealthy place. That's the second thing you need to note. Now, if there is a wealthy place, which there is, and there is a path that leads to the wealthy place, discovering the path and taking the journey guarantees that you will get to the world of place is only a matter of time. Yes, discovering the path that leads the world and taking the journey guarantees that you will get to the world of place is only a matter of time. And what this broadcast is all about, especially this particular series, is all about unveiling to you that path that leads to the world of place so that it will now be left to you whether you want to take the trip or not. I don't believe in get rich quick schemes. I don't believe in covetousness. I don't believe in greed. I don't believe in people trying to make money at all costs. No. I believe when you know how to create wealth and you are concerned about offering value and making a difference, then when you offer value, money flows in exchange for value. Now, if you are going to become wealthy, you must discover the pathway to wealth. And in order to take the trip on that pathway to wealth, you must be ready to do what you need to do. Now, all over the world, Men and women have discovered the path that leads to the world of place. And people have been taking the trip every day. And many people have been arriving at the world of place every day. There are three steps on the pathway to wealth. I call them the three bus stops on the pathway to wealth. If you are ever going to become wealthy, the pathway to wealth is made up of number one, financial intelligence. Number two, financial planning. Number three, financial discipline. Financial intelligence is the doorway into the pathway. Financial intelligence is the doorway into the pathway. Financial planning is the process in the pathway. Financial planning is the process in the pathway. And financial discipline is the guarantee on the pathway. Financial discipline is the guarantee on the pathway. When you have financial intelligence, the doorway is open unto you. When you have a financial plan, the process begins. But it's financial discipline that guarantees that you will arrive at the world of place because if you don't stick to your plan, the plan will never be achieved. So if you are ever going to become wealthy, you need to go from one bus stop to another bus stop to another bus stop so that you can arrive at that destination called the world of place. So let's begin. Number one, to become wealthy, you need financial intelligence. You need financial intelligence. Financial intelligence is the understanding of money. Financial intelligence is the understanding of the inner workings of money. Financial intelligence is the understanding of what money is, where money is hiding, is the understanding of how to make, manage, and multiply your money. It's understanding cash flow, understanding compound interest, understanding inflation, understanding everything about money. Wow! You are like, Am I going to go to school to read economics? No, 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 no. You need to understand that if you are going to become successful, you need more than academic education. Academic education is not enough in the world of wealth creation. There are different kinds of education. If you get the book, The School of Money, you see the seven-star education, where I told you about different kinds of educations you need to have. In order for you to become successful, you don't need only academic education. All that academic education will do for you is to help you to know how to read, write, and do mathematics. Yes, it's okay, but how many multi-millionaire professors do you know? We have professors of economics that don't know nothing. They don't know how to create wealth. Why? Because they have the theory, but they don't have the practical. And that's why, like I've said over the years, even if you have a PhD in swimming technology, it doesn't make you a swimmer, because theory and practical are two different things. So number one, you need financial intelligence, and schools don't teach financial intelligence. A lot of people have gone to school, 
yet they still don't create wealth because schools were not set up to help you to be able to create wealth. Schools were set up so that you'll be able to know how to be an employee, not an employer. So people go to school and when they come out of school, they come to beg to apply. It's easy for you today to see someone that has gone to school, they are BSc in business administration, yet they can't run a Babin Salon successfully. They can't run a business successfully. Why? Because they have the practical and they have the theory, but they don't understand the practical. Now, listing and listing well, you need financial intelligence if you are going to create wealth. You need to know a lot of things about money. Because when you understand money, the money will gravitate towards you. How many of you like spending time with people that don't understand you? Ah, so, if you don't like spending time with people that don't understand you, how do you expect money to spend time with you when you don't understand money? So, if you want to become wealthy, you need financial intelligence. And in order to get financial intelligence, financial, financial intelligence comes through personal development and capacity building. It comes through you making a commitment to be a student in the school of life, to be a student in the school of continual education, and to continue to learn, read books, buy tapes, attend seminars, do all you can to develop yourself and become knowledgeable in the area of finances. You know what? If you want to succeed in any area of life, you must read the number of books commensurate to your age in that area. So if you want to succeed in your finances and you are 30 years old, you must read at least 30 books on finances. If you are 45 years old, you must read at least 45 books on finances to succeed in finance. Any area of life where you want to succeed in, read the number of books that is commensurate to your age in that area and to position you. So you want to become wealthy, you need financial intelligence and it's reading books, attending seminars, buying tapes, so that you can become knowledgeable. Once you know how to create wealth, it will now be left for you to develop a plan and stick to your plan and arrive. Guess what? I've got many things to share with you. But I'll be back after this time. Don't go away. Stay tuned. A time when poverty ravages the land, throwing the inhabitants into pathetic confusion. Companies filing for bankruptcy. Entrepreneurs are entangled in a web of insolvency. Job seekers explode in frustration while employment looks away without hesitation. The rat race continues with no tape of victory in sight. Finally, a savior emerges, the school of money. How to make, manage, and multiply your money. The Entrepreneur's Blueprint by Olumide Emmanuel. A book born out of over 20 years hands-on experience on entrepreneurship. Simple, practical, and commonsensical. Look no further. It's a business school in print where the cheapest school fee is paid. Grab your copy today and dispel your doubt and confusion. Get the blueprint to financial freedom. For free delivery all around Lagos, call 0805-267-3673, 0802-305-9058, and 0802-347-0797. For online purchase, visit www.myschoolofmoney.com. You can also visit our corporate office, 28B at Janaku Street, Awuse Estate, Salvation Bus Stop, Okwebi Ikeja, Lagos. The School of Money. Grab your copy today. Yes, you're welcome back. You're still on to the School of Money and I'm still Olumide Emmanuel. We're looking at the pathway to wealth. Before we went on break, we looked at the fact that you need financial intelligence. Now, financial intelligence is the first step on the pathway to wealth. Once you have financial intelligence, I call it the doorway into the pathway. If you've been following this broadcast, I share with you a few episodes back on developing investment mentality. Now, investment mentality is financial intelligence. It is the doorway into the pathway. Because once you have that, then you know all you need to know to start out on the journey of wealth creation. But knowing it and doing it are two different things. And that's where the second step comes in, financial planning. Now, financial planning is that personal development, wealth creation agenda that you put in place to achieve your financial goal. So if you want to arrive at the wealthy place, you need a financial plan. You know by now that if you fail to plan, you have already planned to fail. Proper planning prevents poor performance. If you plan well, you will do well. No one will plan your life for you if you don't plan it for yourself. So in order for you to become wealthy, in order for you to create wealth, you must have a financial plan. Financial intelligence is the starting point. Financial plan is the real process. I call it the real McCoy. That's how we separate the boys from the men. 
You want to create wealth? You need a financial plan. You need to be able to have a plan on how to achieve that desired goal for your financial life. Now, let's begin to, I hope you have your pen on your paper, let's begin to break it down because this is the meat of it all. When we talk about a financial plan, in order for you to successfully have a plan, you must be able to answer some basic questions. In the book, The School of Money, I've written down all the questions you need to answer in order to be able to position yourself for a successful financial plan. So if you don't have the book, you need to get a copy of that book. But now, in order to have a successful financial plan, you must be ready to go through some basic steps. I call it ADC. A, D, and C. Number one, to have a successful financial plan, you must be able to ascertain your location. That's the A, ascertain your location. You must know your present location. D, second step, is you must determine your destination. Determine your destination. C, which is the third step, is you must choose your vehicle. So you must ascertain your location, determine your destination, and then choose your vehicle. Have you ever tried to order for something or you tried to book for a flight and then you called the um, airline? When you call them and you tell them you'd like to book a flight, what's the first question they ask you? Where is your departure point? There is no airline that can give you the cost of any flight without knowing where you are departing from. So if you don't know how to ascertain your location, you cannot navigate your way to your final destination. And that's what happens in life. A lot of people don't know where they stand and they want to succeed to arrive at a destination without even knowing where they're starting the journey from. Because many times we compare ourselves with people. I was in a, um, a management training just this last weekend and I was training a lot of um, management executives of an organization. And after I was through, when the question and answer session came up, one of them said, well, what you are saying is the truth, you know. Um, I've been a very, very good person when it comes to investment. And he said he has just completed his second building and tenants are going to be moving in very soon. And guess what? When he said that, most of his colleagues were amazed. They were like, you mean this guy has a house, not just one. He has finished the second one. Why? Because he understood what he needed to do now. And I told them, I said, now many of you will look at this guy and say he's your mate. Ah, we are, we are all working in the same place, but he's doing something that you are not doing. And over a five to ten year period, there will be so much gap between the two of you. Now, while he is knowing his position, many of them think they are on the same level, whereas you are not on the same level with him. So, you must determine or ascertain your location. Where are you? How old are you now? How much are you worth? What's your source, what are the sources of income you have right now? What are your assets? What are your liabilities? All these things are very important. Because if you are listening to me right now, you are 20 years old, and you are listening to me right now, you are 40 years old, the way a 20-year-old will react will be different from the way a 40-year-old will react. The time a 20-year-old has, a 40-year-old guy doesn't have it. So if I'm going to show you how to create wealth, and I tell you, you can become rich, you can become wealthy in 10 years, that means if you are 20, by 30, you are rich. If you are 50, by 60. So it means that you have to know where you are, how old are you, what are your responsibilities, what are all these, all these things are very important and all those questions are in the book, The School of Money. So number one, you must ascertain your location. Where am I now? Number two, you must determine your destination. Where are you going to? What is your definition of the wealthy place? Yeah, because wealth is relative. Wealth is relative to a woman in the village where there are no, no electricity, no pipe bomb water, no road, no nothing. She's not seeing electricity, so she's not thinking of having a TV set. She's not thinking of having a Jeep or four-wheel drive. It's useless to her because she's in the village. All those things are not valuable. <laughs> so you need to understand that when we say wealth, wealth is relative, what is your own wealthy place? You must determine it. You must determine what it means to be rich. What is your own definition of I'm rich? What is your own definition of I'm wealthy? You must know what it is. So when you ascertain your location, then you determine your destination. Now, when you have ascertained your location where you are, you have determined your destination where you are going to, the third step is you now choose your vehicle. Choosing your vehicle is knowing the means of transportation that will take you from point A to point B. And we've looked at that some time ago on this same broadcast. 
on the vehicles of world creation. And everything is in the book. That's the book. That's why you need to get the book, The School of Money. That's the School of Money book. That is the school in print. So you must ascertain your location, determine your destination, and choose your vehicle. As a life coach, if you need me to help you consult, to do a life plan for you, I can assist you with that and help to be able to plan your life so that in five to ten years, you are out of poverty and you are on your way to enjoying wealth and becoming financially free. So if you are going to become wealthy, you must have financial intelligence, you must have a financial plan. Now, financial planning involves those three things. Ascertain your location, determine your decision, choose your vehicle. Now, the next thing you need to do is, while you are doing your financial plan, you need to understand the 7030 principle. Now, because the 30 principle is what you need to put in place while you are planning your finances that will help you to arrive. And that's what I'm going to be unveiling to you when we come back after this break. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Many desire to be rich and have a secure future, but lack the financial intelligence and vehicles to take them to their wealthy place. We introduce to you Fingerprint Investment Club, the guaranteed pathway to your wealth. Fingerprint Investment Club takes the pressure off your shoulders and make your money work for you instead of you working for your money. With a one-time membership fee and a regular classic monthly saving or a lump sum premium one-time deposit, you can get good returns on your investment per annum. Wow! Incredible! Have no doubt, hundreds of people have become millionaires through the Fingerprint Investment Club. Join other club members today and ride into a guaranteed cooperative wealth. For inquiries, call 0805-267-3673, 0806-575-6886. You can also visit our website, www.commonsensegroup.com or our corporate office, 28B Ajanaku Street, Awuse Estate, Salvation Bus Stop, Okwebi Ikeja, Lagos. Yes, you're welcome back. It's still Illuminate Manor and you're still on to the School of Money. We're looking at the pathway to wealth. Like I said, it's a new series we're starting and we're just laying the foundation and we're moving on step by step. And I've told you all through this broadcast that you need to be able to take it one step at a time. So you need financial intelligence. We've looked at that. You need financial planning. That's where we are right now. Now, I've told you what financial planning is. So you need to ascertain your location, determine your destination and choose your vehicle. But you see, if you're going to create wealth, listen to this. It is not how much you make that matters. It is what you do with what you make that matters. So if you do the right thing with that little resource that comes into your hand, you can create wealth with as little resource as possible. And in order to do that, you need to apply what I call the 7030 principle. Now, the 7030 principle is the wealth creation master formula. I've shared on wealth creation principle all over the world in the last 16 years, and I tell you, we will help millions of people gain financial intelligence. In the last five years alone, we've raised over 300 million years, so this thing works. It's something I've applied that I've changed my own life financially, and it's something that I've changed the life of many people. Now, the 7030 principle simply states that for every income you make, 30% of that income does not belong to you. You must live within your means. You know, I know a lot of people read all kinds of books that confuse them, and you hear people tell you, don't live within your means, live beyond your means. No, you see, you need to understand. When people are talking, ask yourself, what platform are they speaking from? A man listening to me right now that lives in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in, in a credit economy, can be telling you things that does not work in a cash economy like Africa. People have access to credit, they have credit card, they have all kinds of stuff, so they can live, they can eat tomorrow, today. They can buy clothes, buy now, wear now, pay later. They can buy furniture, pay nothing till next year, interest free. So when they are speaking, they are speaking from a culture and a mindset that is alien to your own culture if you are in Africa. So you need to understand, when people tell you live beyond your means, it's not the way to live. You live within your means, below your means, until you increase your means. So when you live below your means and within your means, it will help you to increase your means. And when you increase your means, you can now say you want to live beyond your means because the means is so big that it cannot be exhausted. So 70-30 principle says... For every money that comes into your hand, 30% of that money does not belong to you. You must live within 70% of all your income. Now, whatever 70% of your income cannot give to you, is not yet yours to enjoy. Yes. So, if you have to eat once, 
Because people talk about three square meals. No, 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 no. If it's only one time in a day you can eat, square it. Have one square meal. Square that one. Why? Cut your coat according to your material, not according to your size. So if your material cannot sew a coat, sew a coat. If you cannot sew a coat, sew more flat. Put it around your neck. Hello. Don't live beyond your means. Live within your means. So 70% of your income, that's what you should live on. Now, what do you do with the 30%? 10% charity. If you're a believer, you call it tight. But let's be globally relevant. You call it charity. What does that mean? For every money you make, everything does not belong to you. At least 10% you must give back to the society. You must give back to your world. Once you do that, it will help you. Then the remaining 20%, you can divide it into 10-10. So 10% for capacity building and then 10% for savings. Or you can take the 20% and save it because every income you make, at least 10% of it must be invested and put into your future. I don't have enough time to finish this. I'll continue in the next episode because we are still on the pathway to wealth. So get a copy of this book and tell your friends and your loved ones they should not miss the next episode because I'll continue from where I stop. So we'll meet again next week. Keep your dream alive. A time when poverty ravages the land, throwing the inhabitants into pathetic confusion. Companies filing for bankruptcy. Entrepreneurs are entangled in a web of insolvency. Job seekers explode in frustration, while employment looks away without hesitation. The rat race continues with no tape of victory in sight. Finally, a savior emerges, the school of money. How to make, manage, and multiply your money. The Entrepreneur's Blueprint by Olumide Emmanuel. A book born out of over 20 years hands-on experience on entrepreneurship. Simple, practical, and commonsensical. Look no further. It's a business school in print where the cheapest school fee is paid. Grab your copy today and dispel your doubt and confusion. Get the blueprint to financial freedom. For free delivery all around Lagos, call 0805-267-3673, 0802-305-9058, and 0802-347-0797. For online purchase, visit www.myschoolofmoney.com. You can also visit our corporate office, 28B at Janaku Street, Awuse Estate, Salvation Bus Stop, Okwebi Ikeja, Lagos. The School of Money. Grab your copy today.